But as they examined their new discoveries, they noticed that the bones had different shapes from those of Giganotosaurus. These differences in the shape of the bones are a clue for paleontologists to identify a new species. And the shape is telling us that we are dealing with a new species of meat eater. And then they began to measure the bones of their new beast. They were bigger than any meat eater bones ever found anywhere in the world. Bigger than T. rex. Bigger even than Giganotosaurus. And our estimates show that uh, a full-size Tyrannosaurus rex was somewhere between 12 and 13 meters in total length. And that means that the new one was somewhere between 14 and 15 meters in total length. probably got the biggest meat eater in the world. But there was more. When Rodolfo and his team began to study the bone specimens in detail, they noticed something strange. As they analyzed the bones, Rodolfo realized that they had found four leg bones for a two-legged creature. There was more than one carnivore in this dinosaur graveyard. So far, our record is indicating that at least six individuals have been preserved. And what's more? They were all different ages, with six specimens of the new meat-eating dinosaur found at the Argentinian site. Phil Curry had what he needed, a second pack of mega carnivores. I just couldn't believe it because uh, suddenly here we were in a situation where we had two large meat-eating dinosaurs in two parts of the world which were showing packing behavior. It seems to me that uh, we have very convincing evidence that large meat-eating dinosaurs formed these social groups where the young and the old worked together, hunted together, and lived together. 